Hey guys, Boone Down South here. Today we're going to install the OEM bug deflector shield for the 2021 Ram Rebel. So stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe. All right, already gone through the instructions. They're kind of eh, iffy. Everything you see here came in the kit except for a screwdriver and the uh, tool there to pop the rivets out. So it would help be helpful to have one of those. You're gonna pop four of those out. And we're gonna go through this install. Should be pretty painless. All right, first thing I did is I wiped down the hood real good. You got that pollen, it's pollen season right now. It's been windy and stuff. So got all the pollen off of it and cleaned it up. Polished it, you know, with a dry rag, if you will. And then we're gonna line this up. You can see there's some holes in here. These are gonna be the mounting holes for this bug shield, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna line it up here and get it centered. And then you're gonna notice that where these holes are, there's a rivet right here. Right here, right here, right here, and right here. Now the instructions also talk about the side rivets, but you're not gonna need those holes but you're gonna have to pop these four rivets out and then want you to mark the rubber and stuff, but I'm just gonna pop those rivets out lined up with what I've got there. So I'm gonna come down and there we go. And if it breaks like that one did, it's not gonna matter. You're not gonna reuse it. You're just gonna reuse the holes and uh, they're probably all gonna break like that. So not to worry though, cause we're gonna use those holes. All right, they give you an alcohol wipe and you're gonna use that to clean each one of these spots where the rivets are out, the top of the hood and just underneath the hood right down here. You're gonna get that real clean because you're gonna put a piece of adhesive on here which is gonna protect the metal brackets from rubbing your paint. So it's the four rivets that I popped plus right where the outside rivet is as well. Right here is where you get another put, put another piece of tape. So we're just gonna use alcohol wipe to uh, make sure it's real clean there. And it's a tiny alcohol wipe too. Clean that up and clean under here. We're gonna hear that tape right on the underside and on the top side. Here's the other spot we pulled the rivet out. Clean that real good. And then down here real good as well. Geez, that plane looks awful low. Look how low that plane is. Look at that. Probably can't tell on the camera, but golly. That's low, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so where we've cleaned up right here, the wipes, so we've got this 3M tape. What they want you to do is line it up with where the hole's at. That's where you're going to put the bracket on. And they want you to tape it over with about two-thirds on top of the hood and one-third under the hood. So we're going to do that next for all six locations where the brackets are going to go. All right, so when I look at this, I'm going to line it up where the hole is, one-third underneath, two-thirds above. I'm going to get that seated in there. Gonna wrap it around. Get that really good and tight. So we're gonna put that bracket and slide it over this. Okay. So we're gonna do that for each one of our spots are the four there, and then we're gonna line up with the, the last rivet on the outside. Okay. Okay, so these brackets are gonna clip onto the hood, and this area right here is gonna be where the, the rivet popped out, and we're gonna fasten. Uh, these little clips in there with these screws and pop that in and the two smaller ones they don't go in a rivet hole they're just going to uh, fix very tightly to the truck uh, hood but what we need to do first is we need to attach these little rubber grommets if you will they're just uh, rubber protectors with an adhesive on the back of them to this right here so there's a little bit of rubber between the bug shield and the and the mounting plate so we're going to put those on real quick and get that part ready We're just going to do that to all these and get these ready to go. Okay. Okay, so this is the hole where the rivet came out. And you can see the hole in the through the hood there. And that's where our tape's at. So we're going to take our piece right here. We're going to slide it into place. So it's sitting on the hood there. And you got our hole in here. Okay. Then we're going to take the little clip it gave us. We're going to take the clip, come back here, put it in the hole. All right, so now you're going to take these screws, the one with a sharp point, not the flat point, but there, there should be um, should be four of these, okay, that you want to use. And you want to get in that slot there. 
and you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. I don't drop this screw. And you're gonna thread that in there. Now, you see that clip starting to turn. We don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna have to get something to hold that clip back. So I just got started and I'm gonna take my clip and try to hold that in place to keep from turning while I spread this in. Does not want to play nice here, that's for sure. I'm holding my finger right now. It's starting to go okay now, that's better. Yeah, you can hold it with your finger so you don't need the clip. And at the last minute to tighten it up, I'm probably gonna get it snug there. That's a good tight fit. So right there is what we're gonna do with the other three that match this guy. Right. Right, so basically what I found out, you know, as the screw threads in, it expands on this backside, which is what locks this into place. And this is the clip that goes in that square. But I got to the point where it was so hard to screw this in, it would stop and it would just start twisting this. And no matter what I put up there to try to stop this from spinning, I couldn't use enough force. So I actually pulled it out, threaded the screw in a good bit to open that up, pulled the screw back out, then squashed this back together and then popped it. And then the screw went in a lot easier. So that's what I'm gonna do here as well. Now I'm gonna pull back out, pinch that together a little bit and then it should pop in and go in easier this time. Just a little bit more here, just a little bit. And it should go a little easier. Where's the tape? I'll work this in the hole. And there you go. Pops right in. Get it lined up. And hopefully that screw will go in a little easier this time. And yeah, my finger is able to hold it from slipping. It's wanting to slip as I turn, but my finger is able to hold it at least this time. Yep, yeah, that's the way to do it. If you want to make it easier, you definitely pre-drill pre that hole or pre-screw that screw in a little bit. There we go. All right, that one's good. All right, very good, very good. All right, so these last ones, there's no screw hole here. They're just going to line up with the rivet, and they got to be pushed on. But if you kind of come in close, you kind of see... What the effort it's going to take to get that over here okay all right so this guy getting lined up with the rivet what i found is hold it in place get you a mallet and just work it in because it is tight all right that's good that's all the way in all right now that we have all the brackets in place it's time to put the bug deflector shield on so what we're going to do is see our holes in there we're gonna go ahead and i can't hold the hood and do this at the same time you got it yeah okay we got lined up in there these are the screws you want to use for this go ahead and get that in there and i'm not going to go real tight with this right now because i'm going to have to slide back and forth to get the fit so we're going to go ahead and try to get the rest of these screws in place and we might have to adjust this outside when in or out and this unfortunately that's the hardest one so we're going to get this screwed in okay the one challenge was with this last guy here he's the tightest one to get on okay i mallet to get that on but once we got it all lined up i had to move this and uh had to adjust this thing and get it lined up so just fyi you may have to pop this off and get it adjusted for you so just something to keep in mind okay hoods on you got these rubber bumpers and underneath here if you kind of i don't know if you can see or not under here there's a yellow sticker in here and that yellow sticker is where they want you to put the bumper they want you to mount it right like this on the hood and there's some 3m tape in here so wipe the hood pull it back put it in place and that's just to keep this from vibrating now i have seen some guys mount this like this instead now their thought was if i have to take this off i don't want these things left on the truck but what i'm worried about is if i mount it this way you're gonna have vibration from the wind over time and i think you're just gonna eat the paint right off so I think I'd rather gamble putting it on here and having to take a heat gun and see if I can pop this off uh, versus putting it on the hood. So I'm just going to go with what the instructions say, mount this on the hood. All right, there you go. We got the OEM bug deflector shield all set in place. It's matte black, matches the, the finish on this uh, ram that I've got here. So I think it looks good. You kind of see on the back side here where we got the bumpers down there to help with it. I don't know if you can see it's pretty dark here with the lighting that we've got, but overall it looks good happy with it all right guys got it all done it's about a 45 minute project i guess 
a couple challenges. One is these guys are really tight on here. Get a mallet to tap those in. That's going to help a lot. The other thing is pre-thread those little clips that go into these brackets here. If you pre-thread that screw in and pull it back out, it'll be a lot easier to get that screw going in to the slot without the thing spinning on you to lock that in place. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Popping those clips out in the beginning, the trim clips, everyone unbroke, but it's no big deal because you don't use them. We're just reusing that hole. So overall, not too bad. So there you have it, folks. So stay tuned for more. We're going to do some more mods of this truck as time goes by. So uh, just be on the lookout for those. And you're going to be hitting the river for some fishing here soon, too. So we'll have one of those videos out here shortly, too. So y'all hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.